Hi, this video will provide a brief tutorial on MTU configuration on a Nexus 9000 switch. My name is William Brown and I'm a technical consulting engineer at Cisco. Prior to the lab tutorial, we will review a few key concepts regarding MTU. MTU stands for Maximum Transmission Unit and is the largest protocol data unit or PDU that can be sent in a single network layer transaction. The default MTU for many platforms including the Nexus 9000 is 1500 bytes. Higher MTU can be assigned to allow larger frames known as jumbo frames to pass through the network. Please note that a higher MTU can allow for reduced overhead but a lower MTU can reduce network layer delay. Incorrect MTU values can result in traffic loss as well as errors on the interface. Nexus 9000 supports per port MTU. This means the MTU value can be assigned on a per port basis and does not need to be system wide. This support will vary on different Nexus platforms. MTU can be configured on layer two and layer three interfaces. Layer two interfaces can follow the system jumbo MTU value, whereas layer three interfaces are assigned on a per port basis. On the Nexus platform, the default jumbo MTU value of 9,216 bytes is used. Moving on, we can now review the topology. In the center, we have a Nexus 9000 labeled MTU switch, which will start with a default MTU of 1500 on E11 and E12. The source and destination switches both have jumbo MTU values of 9216 configured on SVI 10 and their ethernet ports towards the MTU switch. We can start with verifying values on the SVIs on both the source and destination. We can see our IP addressing on VLAN 10, as well as the use of MTU 9216. If we then move to our destination switch, we can see it has the same MTU 9216 value, and the only difference being that it is dot two versus dot one in the subnet. Moving on to the Nexus 9000 switch, where we will configure MTU values, we first clear the counters for later tests and also check our neighbor ships to know where the traffic will arrive and where it will egress the switch. We can see the source is off of E11 and the destination is off of E12. Next, we can verify the starting MTU values on Ethernet 11 and Ethernet 12 of the Nexus 9000 switch. Using the show interface command and grepping for the word MTU, we can see that the MTU is 1500 bytes for both interfaces. For the purposes of the lab, Let's start on the source switch and send a ping of 1500 bytes to the remote SVI 10. As you can see on the screen, the ping is successful. And now we can check the center switch for any errors that might be seen on the interfaces. No interfaces are listed as reporting errors which is expected behavior in this test. Now let's change the ping size to 9000 and observe the behavior. This time, we are seeing request timeout and the pings are unsuccessful. Again, we can check the interface counters on the center switch. Now we observe on the ingress port five receive errors, and on the egress port, five transmit errors. Additionally, we see five giants, which correspond to these alignment or receive errors on the ingress port. As we know, these alignment errors are MTU related due to them corresponding with the giants. We can configure the interface E11 and E12 for jumbo MTU to alleviate this problem. Going into configuration mode to the interface, we simply type MTU 9216. We can then verify that the MTU has changed using the previous show interface command. As you can see now, for both E11 and Ethernet 12, the MTU value is 9216 bytes. To verify that the MTU change has resolved the ping failure and interface errors, we can send another ping of 9000 bytes from the source switch. As you can see, the ping resolves this time, and if we check the center switch, for any interface errors, we can see they have not increased since the last check. So with that, we conclude our lab tutorial on the configuration of Jumbo MTU on a Nexus 9000 switch. 
we can see it was a per port configuration. This behavior will differ again on Nexus platforms that are not the Nexus 9000 and I would check the platform specific configuration guide for those specific details. We saw the default MTU was 1500 bytes and then a maximum MTU of 9216 bytes could be assigned. Thanks for viewing and I hope this was informative.